I'm on the right track, but like I say, it's just a case of keep plodding on and one day it'll come. Uh, and when it does, it'll be uh, it'll be a bang on, it'll be sweet. So I'll keep plodding on. Well, back on on after Warrior. Uh, back pit at Bainton. I have to excuse me because I'm uh, just in the middle of making a brew. Been down bottom end at Lake. No signs are out in deeper water. Uh, just a hunch I had this weekend that I hadn't seen out for weeks. Beginning of, well, end of January now. Uh, nearly beginning of February. I haven't had a bite. I think since that late October, something like that. But, uh, as you do when you're chasing the fish, keep going. Absolutely. Well, it has been blowing a gale. Uh, for all them that think I don't bring sugar, full packet of sugar. A bit crystallised from that. I mean, like a pan, so keep a case of just scoop it into the tub. Um, so yeah, it's been blowing an absolute gale. And seen all down other end of the lake where I'm back at wind. And then this morning I was just making a brew down there in Bivy. Walking through Bivy doors and uh, seen a fish show. Uh, three times it showed. I've been scouring in between all coops and tufties, checking out which was yours and which which is uh, which is bird life. But this was a definite show, and uh, you were a big fish. So the boat's giving me confidence, no end. That at least they're active. If they're active, uh, then surely they've got a feed. Like I say, it's bang on end of wind. Just shows you sometimes while you're reading magazines that. Fish are on end up with it, or on back at wind in colder weather, and on a warm wind they'll follow it. But that's not always the case. Um, done it a few times before. Where I've seen them show bang on end up wind in art visions, and uh, gone down there and ended up nabbing one. So I just like I said, I've just come round here. Just an opportunist, three singles put to general area where I think that fish were. Like I say, we're bang at end at the other end of the lake where I saw it from, so just somewhere in area. But at least I know there is eight, at least one carp somewhere out here. So give me a chance. Nice warm brew. See it out for a couple of hours before I've got to Make that dreaded journey back up A1, back home. I'll keep you posted. We're going all the way through winter, so I'll be doing a few, uh, a few different blocks. Good luck. Seen out for four months. Uh, more than chuff we we bite. Twenty pound common, something like that, but it's a frost on ground. You're more than welcome. On a new bait I've been playing about we from RG baits. A formula based mix still but a few different flavourings and ingredients. Uh, and he's produced three bites in total, uh, up to now, two from bike paint, one from Little Lake Havoc Bike, so 
more than happy with that, that base going. Let's get it back. Well, cold night on the uh, bike pit. Usual spring uh, day and morning scenario is that it's red hot in day, which is for the last couple of days it's been like 15, 16 degrees. I've uh, been watching weather all week while I've been at work and then at weekend it says that it's gonna be it's gonna be shite, so down to like nine degrees and two degrees at night, which last night it were, but uh, I think with water temperatures and daylight hours now, fish will walk up anyway, regardless of what weather's gonna do. Uh, it's always nice and comfortable for us to to obviously fish in it, but we're hoping for a bit of nice weather after uh, enduring long hard winters um, but to fish I don't like I say I don't think it really matters now once they woke up that's it they woke up um, got here last night about half past seven uh, after work and then got rods out for just before dark which were about quarter past eight and at ten to one this morning uh, one of the rods rattled off a uh, rod that I fancied in an area I haven't fished much but um, I have heard them in the last few weeks um, around this area, so nobody were in here. There was only two other lads on the lake, so quite quiet around this way. So I dropped in here and, uh, like I say, 10 to 1. And this cracker, get them up. As I've said so many times, on bike pit, another common. Yeah, they're an absolute stunner when they look like this. Quality fishing bag pit, absolute stunners. Little twitchy bite, just a couple of bleeps. Uh, and then bobbing just up to the top, just doing what they're doing, trying to get rid of the lead, and trying to get rid of it up. Yeah, it was still on. Get a good encounter itself on scrap on way in. Didn't beat me, did you? Hey? No. So yeah, nice fish. Hey? Weigh it. If you want to weigh it, you can weigh it, mate. I'm going to have a scout, I know what ever slips weigh wet. They don't like doing what Kyle does. So. Tell me. <laughs> nah, it's a mid 30 all day, innit? I do, innit? I'm not allowed to weigh things anymore, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It was Chuck that shouted at us anyway. <laughs> Stay there, don't move.
Fuck you, no. Got a beat, man. <laughs> Fucking got a beat. Freedom. <laughs> I think it is. Oh. That's what I've been told. Is that the secret? That bastard. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Is it? <laughs> you. It's worry his nephew. Have <laughs> eluded me for fucking three years. You little fucker. down a little bit mate. <laughs> it's only fish that's made me smile this man. It's only fish that's made me fucking smile. Come on. Actually that scale's not right for water in. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
so many videos saying that I'm going to catch warrior and it, it will happen. <coughs> this is the first video that I've been able to make when it has ac actually happened. About half past six last night. Caught warrior. And uh, this is my last morning ever on back bit. Got a bit of a sore head after beers were flowing and one of the lads brought a bottle of champagne and I had a couple of ciders, pizza, trek lads to a pizza. So like I said I've got a bit of a sore head. I haven't been able to get no sleep at all. Phone's been going mental. I think I went to bed about half eleven. I woke up about half two this morning, just haven't been able to sleep, still on the eye. But like I said in my other videos, it will happen. And it has happened. I'm proud of myself that I've kept going and kept going and kept going. I'm not lying, it has done me headed. I think it'd do anybody's head in. Chasing one fish in a pit like this. But I've actually succeeded. Nobody could ever take that away from me. Did it my way. Looks absolutely stunning. Got some good video footage in it. There are enough people around, I think there are about seven at lads around taking photos of it. Just an absolute dream fucking night it was. Weather were absolutely mint. Beautiful summer's evening, well, late spring, early summer's evening. It was a stunning setting to catch a stunning fish. Now, like I said, this is uh, last morning. Nearly ready for wrapping up. I'm not going to be late away today. Just going to chill out for the day, have a walk, walk, walk around the lake, see the lads that I saw yesterday, thank them for what they've done, and uh, wish them luck in chasing their dream. like to welcome you to the Hoggy and Warrior Show. It's a story about a damn fucking fish that don't want to get fucking caught and a damn fucking angler that can't catch it. Me. <coughs> but out here in fucking freezing conditions trying to fucking catch the daft thing. Now at the beginning of February, uh, been chasing it all, well for fucking years now, but decided to go all the way through winter and chase it. So it's the first week that I've seen another daft fucking idiot join me trying to catch a carp in this lake. It's hard enough in summer. It's fucking 
made some people run away with the tail between the legs in summer near my own winter. But you never know, I might just get one more, one fucking daft bite out of blue and it's that fish. Who knows? I don't, but Put out on Facebook now because you get fucking idiots fucking saying, Is it still in there? Because it's fucking still in here. Tom popped up dead, it fucking been caught twice last year. Hard enough trying to catch it without fucking idiots fucking saying stuff like that. One day I'll show them what it looks like. I have great pleasure in fucking posting it on Facebook and saying yellow. Yeah, it's in, in here anymore because it's out on bank because I'm holding it up. One day it will happen. Guaranteed. If there's any other fucking idiots out there chasing one particular fish. Good luck to you, mate. I know what you're going through. Keep going. One day it'll happen. Keep dreaming. <laughs>